separation of components from a mixture of red and blue inks by paper chromatography. Chromatography is one of the most important separation techniques and is extensively used to separate mixtures in their components. It was first employed by the Russian scientist Mikhail Svet. In the paper chromatographic technique, the mixture of substances is applied onto a Wattman filter paper strip in what is called the stationary phase. A pure solvent or a mixture of solvents is allowed to move slowly over the stationary phase. This moving phase is called mobile phase. When a mobile phase is moved over the mixture on the stationary phase, the components of the mixture gradually are separated from one another. Our aim here is to separate the components from a mixture of red and blue inks by paper chromatography. Materials required Chromatographic chamber with lid Mixture of red and blue inks Isopropyl alcohol water mixture Wattman filter paper strip Fine capillary tube Thread Scale And a pencil Procedure Take a Wattman filter paper strip and draw a line with a pencil above 2 cm from one end. Draw another line lengthwise from the center of the paper. Name the point at which the two lines intersect as P. Take the mixture of red and blue inks using a capillary tube. Put a drop of mixture of red and blue inks at the point P. Allow it to dry in open air. Put another drop on the same spot and dry again so that the spot is rich with the mixture. Take a piece of thread and tie the filter paper to it. Suspend the filter paper vertically in the chromatographic chamber containing solvent which is a mixture of isopropyl alcohol and distilled water. Make sure that the pencil remains about 1 cm above the solvent level. Keep the chamber undisturbed for some time. Notice the rising solvent along with the red and blue inks. After the solvent has risen, you will notice two different spots of blue and red colors on the filter paper. Take the filter paper out of the chamber and mark the distance that the solvent has risen on the paper with a pencil. This is called the solvent front. Dry the filter paper and put pencil marks on the center of the red and blue ink spots. Measure the distance of the two spots from the original line and the distance of the solvent from the original line. Calculate the RF values of red and blue inks by using the formula RF is equal to distance travelled by the component from the original line divided by distance travelled by the solvent from the original line. Precautions Always make use of a fine capillary tube. Keep the chamber undisturbed and covered during the experiment. The spot should be rich with the mixture.